The tryptophan operon, trip operon for short, is a bacterial system for regulating the synthesis of the amino acid tryptophan. The operon controls expression of five genes. These structural genes are transcribed when RNA polymerase can bind the promoter controlling them. But when the cell has lots of tryptophan, why waste energy making more? The trip operon is at one position on the circular bacterial chromosome and a regulatory gene for the system is about a quarter of the way around the chromosome from it. This gene, called TRIP-R, encodes a dimeric repressor protein on a slow but ongoing basis, and the repressors diffuse through the cytoplasm. We'll see in a little bit how the repressors work. Now let's look at the control sequences for the TRIP operon. They include a promoter, the binding site for RNA polymerase, an operator, which overlaps the promoter, and a leader gene, TRIP-L, which has an attenuator sequence, which we'll also look at soon. When the bacterial cell's tryptophan levels are low, RNA polymerase can bind the promoter and transcribe the structural genes. Each gene encodes a protein chain for an enzyme in the TRIP synthesis pathway, TRIP-E and D for anthranilate synthase, TRIP-C for indole glycerol phosphate synthase, and TRYP-B and A for tryptophan synthase. As tryptophan is synthesized, it diffuses through the cytoplasm. When it encounters a TRYP repressor, it binds a site on the repressor, changing that protein shape. The repressor can now bind the operator, block polymerase binding, and prevent transcription of the structural genes. Thus, tryptophan is said to be a co-repressor. Like the LAC repressor, the trip repressor does not stick like glue, but periodically dissociates, allowing a low, basal rate of transcription. The operon can fine-tune tryptophan synthesis. In essence, it can read various levels of tryptophan concentration in the cell. It uses a system called attenuation to do this. When the tryptophan level is low, Ribosomes translating the leader mRNA as it emerges from the RNA polymerase pause briefly when they encounter two tryptophan codons in a region called 1. They wait for trip-charged tRNAs in order to continue. And while they wait, a pair of complementary regions of the mRNA, called 2 and 3, form a stem and loop. The next region that could have paired with 3 is not yet transcribed. When the trip tRNAs appear, translation continues through the structural genes, and thus more tryptophan is produced. If, however, tryptophan-charged tRNAs are plentiful, there is lots of tryptophan in the cell, the ribosomes read through region 1 quickly, which allows region 3 and newly transcribed 4 to pair. This stem and loop terminates transcription, and the structural genes are not transcribed. Tryptophan is not produced, and its concentration in the cell decreases.